Hey guys, what's up? It's Kyra Ham. Today I'm doing a requested video. Uh, this is my everyday makeup drawer. I only use but so many products to go to work, so I do work out of one drawer for most days. And this is the drawer that I will be sharing with you guys today. Just took the side plugs out and pulled it out for you guys a little bit more because I do want to show you in the back. I do have my primers and I was so happy that I actually found this because for a minute it was in a different drawer where it didn't belong. This is the Bronze Colors Pore Minimizer Studio Line Primer. I actually did enjoy this. I actually enjoyed it a little bit more than the one that I've been using because my pores are issues. So I've been trying to use a primer that combats the look of the pores. So I've been using the Ruby Kisses Never Touch Up. And I got this from my beauty supply store. And what I don't like about it is the consistency. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to do it again. But how it, it kind of spits out. And it's a thicker consistency than the one from Bronze Colors. Which I'm going to show you guys how that comes out a little bit smoother. They're like pretty much the same color. They both remind me of the Benefit Professionals, Which I also have in my little basket of primers. But I'm not going to go through my primers right now. I did just want to tell you guys about those real quick. But back here we have a basket of primers. And then also over here I have my basket of concealers. Which I pretty much shared with you guys in my vanity tour. But just in case you guys were wondering what was back there. That was that. And also I have my Tardius Volume 3 Contour Palette. Which has been my go-to. I absolutely love that. But basically on an everyday basis. I basically tend to work out of these two baskets here up front so we're going to go into this i've been using my nars soft matte complete concealer that i've been using this pretty much every day like it's the perfect first of all it's actually my shade it's been a long time since i had a concealer that was my actual shade color so this is in the shade amande and i've been using a lot of that as you can see right up in there also in here i have my benefit precisely my brow pencil this is in the shade six i've been using that pretty much every day this is my bronze colors boosting hydrating concealer it's the orange corrector I've been in the last couple of days i actually haven't been using mascaras because my allergies have been going ham i've been using the tart tardius which i really do like um this is the YSL Mascara Volume. I do like that one as well. And this is the Bronze Color Skinny Mascara. Now, I'm not really a fan of these skinny mascaras that have like this minuscule wand. I feel like you have to do more work. And I just rather prefer to use a regular mascara. Then here up front, I have a whole bunch of concealers as well. I've actually been trying to get through this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and it is a much lighter shade than I am so I do use it as a brightening concealer. This is the Kat Von D concealer. This is called the Lock It Concealer. I did feature this in my Best of Beauty. Absolutely love that concealer. And these two I've actually been mixing together and it gives me like the perfect everyday kind of conceal highlight kind of thing. So this is more of my skin tone shade. This is the NYX. MYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer and this is in the shade 08 Nutmeg and this is the Wet n Wild Concealer Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Medium Deep Tan to lock in my eyebrows I've been using the ELF product. it's a dual ended product one is supposed to be for your lashes one is supposed to be for your brows I use them both for your brows it's a clear mascara gel you guys know my favorite my favorite matte liquid liner right now is the NYX matte liquid liner. Also, we have some brow products down here. This is the, oh, that's just my e.l.f. brow brush. Frequently used. I've been using this a lot since the Rih Rihanna and MAC collection. This is their Belux brow pencil in deep brunette. Love that pencil. So I, I love that and it's actually a permanent item from MAC. I just have the special edition packaging which it really doesn't mean anything because once you sharpen it you can't even see the special edition packaging. Anyway, uh, this is, it looks like a Laura Mercier translucent but it's actually RCMA uh, translucent powder in here. I just used the Laura Mercier container to keep it in. And then these last two products, this is a skinny tip eyeliner from Wet n Wild. I haven't got enough usage out of that, but I can't remember loving it, which is probably why it's all the way at the bottom. Now this one I know I really didn't like. This is the Infallible Paints, and this is just a black eyeliner as well. And it just really wasn't, I think it's like too stiff 
of a uh, point so I didn't really like it like that then in this second drawer back here oh I also have another mascara no this is a brow mousse from tweezer man it's another clear mess it's another clear brow gel that I use to set my brows so if I'm not using the elf one then I'm also using the tweezer man one and then back here is just a lot of powders that I've been using I've went back to using my love which is the Sasha buttercup setting powder I absolutely love that powder I've been enjoying the pure cosmetics 4-in-1 Press Minimal Mineral Makeup, and this is in the shade Deeper. I actually originally purchased the shade Deep, and when they sent me the Deeper, oh my gosh, I fell in love with it. It's perfect. So, I think it'll be a great match come summertime. This has been my go-to powder. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro, and I am in the shade number 26 Chai. This is basically what I've been using on an everyday basis to go to work. I don't know if you can see, I do have a little dent going on in there. But I have been using this and loving this non-stop. So, if you're looking for a nice powder foundation, definitely check out the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. Also, have been loving the Wet n Wild Press Powder. This one is in the shade 827C Dark Cafe. Really been enjoying this. This is also part of that photo focus line that I told you guys about. <laughs> Another love. I've just really been loving powder foundations lately. So this is my Laura Mercier. This is not a foundation actually. It's like an all over setting powder that I would use at the end of my makeup. So this is the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in number 5. I actually have a full video featuring this even though I didn't do a demo in there um trust me this powder is like everything so I've been using this a lot as an all over setting powder have another mascara hiding back there this is the benefit roller lash mascara which I absolutely love early in the year I used this a lot but lately being that I've been trying different products. I haven't really showed it too much love but as you can see those two correctors over there are basically almost gone and the only reason I don't like products like this is that so much product gets unused because I mean there's only but so much cleaning up of my brows that I'm doing I usually go for the natural look anyway I don't really clean up my brows like that unless I'm doing like a you know eyeshadow look or anything like that but on a daily basis I do not clean up my brows so you really only the two correctors get love so um I haven't been reaching for that but I need to actually finish that out and I'm gonna actually put this bronze color blusher with my blushes so that's basically my everyday drawer I don't really do much if you want to see a video on my full everyday makeup that I do for work thumbs up this video let me know down in the comments I'll be sure to get that out to you love it. if you guys enjoyed this video I would love for you to give it a thumbs up excuse the dirt on the outside of my <laughs> freaking drawers these kids my makeup fingers you know they don't make that's it guys hope to catch you guys in the next video until next time Peace.